Good morning, participants of the conference. Uh, uh, my appearance here is a bit unexpected because uh, uh, Albina Nikonen uh, couldn't come because she got sick, she got uh, flu, and so that's why we'll, it's my turn to be here. So we don't have a lot of time. So the time that we agreed on with the participants, so please stick to this. Um, after many years observation of the market uh, in, in venture market observation, it's quite interesting technical trend that we have. Everything that you do in Russia, anyway, we go to this five-year plans. The first funds, they appeared in 1993. In 1998, the market was growing. After 1998, uh, there was a five years of getting out of the crisis that was <coughs> Uh, caused by external circumstances for the industry. Uh, then to, to, till 2008, uh, there was a uh, turbulent growth. And, and then uh, th then there was a crisis. And we started getting out of this. And then 2013, uh, based on the background of such indicators of the market, we see that we're in the middle of uh, the next five-year plan, so to speak. And in the numbers and in the opinions, we can see in what state we are. And first of all, I would like to give the floor for a short introduction remarks. Uh, partner of PricewaterhouseCoopers, uh, the, uh, 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 Ms. Shapochka. Thank you very much. In fact, I would like to say a couple of words. from the point of view of the general understanding of what's going on in the innovative environment. And here I base my points on the National Innovation Report <coughs> that was generated by the Russian venture company in cooperation with consultants. So what this report show us, first of all, for the second time, we can say that there is no alternative for development because other sources of growth in many ways they are not accessible for us this is a lack of financial resources there's a low uh, labor performance <coughs> and the quality of uh, labor labor force and uh, the quality of workforce is lagging behind of world criteria and it will take a long time to match it because of that we look at the development and the results of the innovation system we can see that the quality of ecosystem is better but the number of ac activities is low and we can see it in the global ratings global innovative index uh, Russia grew from 48 to 43rd place so and uh, global competitive uh, index from from 45 to 43 place. And we can see that uh, Russia is getting closer to leaders uh, uh, fr as innovation control panel that we developed uh, last year. We can see growth and we can see different trends in terms of innovation activity in many areas we can see growth this is the budget investment in R&D this is the growth in innovative products and research cooperation but uh, other key indicators they show they show decrease number of uh, innovative companies also decreasing the conclusion that we made in the report and it can be argued but nevertheless it is what it is the state over the last years was investing in the measures that had a delay effect. Uh, this is education, science, and as we see it, it would be principal to develop two areas. First of all, is to ensure pipeline of new innovative projects, startups, the number of which is a key condition of uh, 
growth in the country, and at this point, it's not sufficient to develop innovative economy. And I spoke about this in the first session. Uh, we suggest to launch a national program of uh, technological entrepreneurship development. And the third condition is activization of uh, big state companies and private business. Things are done in this area, but not enough. Why it's important for our conference and for our topic? First of all, venture market, particularly a Russian venture company that is in the middle of the market. On the one hand, we see demand, the state, big companies in the business. And on the other hand, this is the proposal, the pipeline of startups that should be at the entry. And venture market itself is quite a powerful tool to develop the economy. A, we can see it based on several researches. We see that one dollar that invested in the venture finance gives us 6.5 dollars multiplication effect in the economy. It's quite a good multiplier. But at the same time, uh, what drives the venture market, a lot of research was done, gives us different correlations and with different investment in R&D with taxation benefits, but the leading one is the appetite of companies to acquire new innovation companies. And if we look at the global statistics, for example, in the world, approximately 72 percent of the value of the uh, – this is data for 2015 uh, – on the deals in the market, 72 percent is based on uh, big companies. All the rest is IPO and management buyout. And the activity of these companies is about 85%, 72% on the general value, and on the number, it's 85%. And in this regard, of course, I think that one of the most interesting areas, and Alexander mentioned that, this is the activization of work with big business and uh, both state and private and also creating mutual funds. And I think that what we'll see in the monetary research, uh, the trend that I talked about will show us exactly that. Thank you. Alexander, please. Thank you very much, uh, colleagues. Uh, today we would like to show the results of our annual uh, research monetary uh, which we're producing for the sixth time in a row in partnership with RVC some statistics will uh, identify some trends and uh, this expert panel would like to discuss those trends before I switch to the results I will briefly remind you the methods under which this research was performed. We will look at the venture ecosystem generally. What, it, what are the components? The basis is venture deals. We will look at major deals with the proceeds of more than $100 million. We analyze exit of investors and we look at grants, which are not a, no, uh, which are not a market tool, but they represent a major element of support of the venture market. Regarding the pillars of the venture market, the venture deals, we we'll look at the deals in excess of 500,000 US dollars, but less than 100 million US dollars. Deals less than 50 hundred US dollars are not included. Importantly, the deal should be consummated before the uh, 31st of December 2016. We we'll look only uh, at investment into Russian companies or into companies for which Russia is the key market. Therefore, investment of Russian investors into foreign assets are looked at only as an option. Okay, results of the Russia's venture ecosystem. The first thing that strikes us is that the venture ecosystem has dramatically shrunk as compared to 2015. In 2015, it was 2.2 billion rubles. Now it's barely 410 uh, 
2.2 billion dollars and now 410 million US dollars. Well, base of comparison, last year the bulk of the venture system was accounted for by three major deals. There is investor exit from Amita, which amounted to about 1.2 billion dollars, and two other deals, each of 200 million dollars. Effectively, well, it accounted for the larger share of the pie. This year, if you look at their 26th chart, there were no major deals and there were, all ma there were no major investor exits. As for venture transactions as the basis of the venture ecosystem, we observe several interesting trends. First, the number of deals has slightly increased, 184 deals as compared to 180 back in 2015, which demonstrates the continuing activity of investors in the Russia's venture market. However, the volume reduced by 26%. Effectively, an average size of the deal has reduced from about 1.5 million to 1.1 million US dollars, which is understandable when there is no certainty about the further macroeconomic scenario of Russia. Investors become more cautious. They invest less in a bigger number of assets thus trying to diversify their portfolios. There are no major deals, as I said. Exits were not also much less pronounced. We don't see, uh, still we don't see uh, any important number of strategic investors who are prepared to buy such as. Therefore, exits are not that numerous. As for grants, uh, we see that they are shrinking as well. Uh, similar to the last year, Bortnik's foundation and Skolko foundation proved to be the most active grant providers. For Bortnik, we see a reduction both in numbers and in volumes. Skolko is an opposite picture. If I sum it up, I will say that Russia's venture system, ecosystem, is still relatively small. and. Uh, well, from the statistics point of view, it is easily impacted by any major deal or any major exit, which was demonstrated by comparison year on year of 2016. You see that there were no major deals and the whole sector shrank. We will look to a different level of detail and let us discuss more thoroughly some venture deals. You see the distribution of venture investments along the stages of development of venture companies. It's an interesting trend which you can, which we saw last year as well. Investors uh, largely focus at the early stages and expansion stages of the companies, both in terms of volumes and numbers of transactions. At the same time, at the seed stage, in 2016, we see some growth from 27 to 38 transactions. RVC foundations were the most active there. However, at the startup stage, we see a reduction from 19 to 15 deals. If we look for the volume, an interesting trend is observed. A reduction of the number of deals largely occurred due to the investment at the expansion stage. From 147.2 million dollars, the volume shrank to 87.2 million dollars. It's understandable. Uh, uh, most of markets have not yet recovered and do not demonstrate any signs of recovery and investors are biding their time. They wait for the markets to uh, recover, to add capital to the companies at the expansion stage. If we look at distribution of venture investment across sectors, there are no surprises this year. Er, IT accounted for over 90% of deal in terms of volumes. 
and uh, for 70 percent in terms of number of transactions it uh, practically reproduces the 2017 and 2015 trend if we look in more detail uh, the structure of investment we see change of leader while last year e-commerce e was the sub leader uh, cloud and software cloud technology software took the first team first place it correlates with the united states situation we compared it to money three money tree there in the states software is a clear leader the runner-up is investment in fintech technologies well understandingly major banks pay more and more attention to their technology transformation and pay more attention to startups in the sector of technology uh, number three services and s social media for biotechnology it is still accounting for a smaller share of the market the number of transactions in the industrial technology slightly increased and biotechnology slightly decreased uh, government-owned foundations were quite active in both sectors uh, biotechnology is still an area where investors are very cautious due to high risks involved and the capital intensivity of the sector for the first time we decided to look at venture investment of russian invest investors into uh, foreign companies uh, we observe an interesting trend the number of deals as compared to 2015 remains flat but the average amount has reduced the total amount of investment reduced from 270 to 114 million US dollars interesting statistics regarding distribution of deals among investors in 2016 we see that Russian investors are accounting for increasing the bigger number of invest uh, deals Russian venture investors diversify their portfolios including at the global level and invest more and more on their own they invest in consortia with foreign foundations and uh, just uh, some more trends the total number of venture deals remains flat 184 against 180 the size of a deal has been reducing uh, the reduction of an average size of a deal is also understandable investors are becoming more cautious they are looking for a diversified portfolio uh, investment is broken down into a bigger number of smaller investment and increasingly investors start to in invest into consortia uh, people are still interested at the latest stage of development projects as well as in 2015 uh, the sector of breakdown is still the same IT accounts for 90% of the deals and as before Russian investors still invest in foreign venture assets we understand that 2016 was by no means a simple year uh, the business activity was not up to the mark the ruble depreciated 10% year on year but we see some positive forecasts regarding investment activities for 2017 and we have a degree of cautious optimism vis-a-vis -vis development of the market this year thank you colleagues i'm passing the floor to the moderator thanks to alexander i ask the people to well to prepare for the second presentation we have several teams which are making market research and money tree is the most authoritative one uh, there is uh, also research by the Russian Association of Venture Investment they use somewhat different methods the Russian Association looks only at the institutional sector the corporate venturing is out of the picture and we look at deals uh, which are less than 50,000 US dollars in size I will briefly show some trends which may be interesting to you in recent years we try to assess 
activity of different funds. There are over 180 of them. But, but from the perspective who is in their investment period, it's a pretty closed market, but we looked at it. Who in recent years made at least one investment? Clearly, the number of active players is reducing. In 2016, only 40% of funds made at least a single investment. Secondly, the share of the state in the market. In terms of capital of funds, we see the reducing share of government in this market. And in terms of capital, it barely accounts for 25%. I'm talking about capital of funds where uh, the government has a share, a stake. If we look at the thin structure of the market by breaking down the deals by their sectors, uh, we'll largely look at IT sector and the real sector economy, which is not IT sector. In terms of the number of deals, these are accounted for by the ICT and early stages. If we look at the uh, lighter color uh, part of the slide, you'll see that the major role is played by the Fund of Development of Internet Initiatives. They made a big number of deals, although not of these deals are covered uh, in, by our statistics research. We consider them an institutional player. Now, if we look at the same situation from the perspective of capital volumes, uh, which are taken care of, looking at different stages of development, so a round of investment, we see we see that uh, uh, most of the deals fall into the range of half a million to three, four million US dollars. Uh, that's about all as this uh, thin structure of the market. Uh, statistics is dry, but the tree of, li uh, of life is always green. I'm passing the floor to Mr. Salaviov, managing uh, partner of Prastor Capital Partners, that are making a research of the venture capital market. Uh, they are surveying the most active market players in Russia and look at their assessment of the situation. Organizers uh, ask me to fit in into five minutes, really. For the first year in a row, we will look at the venture barometer. We want to understand the quality characteristics of the market. There is a lot of questions around the quality, perception, etc. We are not concerned with figures. Uh, we canvass the following people uh, last year. Media resource free. We uh, found 43 funds who made over, uh, let's say, two years at least one investment, at le two, two investment, at least one investment in Russia. We are talking effectively about 43 companies. We surveyed 30 of the 43 companies. It's quite a representative sample. Our uh, first conclusion, strange as it may seem, optimism increasing. Russian people are optimists by nature. 77% of those surveyed believe that Russia's venture capital, capital market in the next uh, five years will increase. What is the main constraint, we ask the people? Uh, the invariable answer was, let's say, we offered them as a crisis, but uh, mostly people talked about new political and economical realities. The situation in which we live now is a constraint for this growth. If we talk about the major trend, we mentioned international investment. 72% of those surveyed believe that 
tapping the international market for Russian investors is the major trend. It's a major trend once again among all those trends. At the same time, the situation is by no means straightforward. I will qualify about a year ago, 90 percent, not 70, to believe that the entry to the international market will be number one. But over the year, the balanced structure of the portfolio has not changed. If we translate it into the Russian Bavinish, everyone wants to tap on the international market, but not everyone does it. Probably people do not wait for us in the international markets. And also, uh, finalizing my five minutes, a little bit about the government, the role of the state in the venture markets, and what data we have. First of all, a very interesting thing, as I think in 2014, among the trends of venture market developments, the number one trend was uh, it was uh, they thought that we're going to have more and more state participation in the world. Other initiatives, everybody was looking at it uh, as a given. In the last year, only 28 percent they indicated that we had that trend. This. Uh, that the industry becoming more and more uh, public. But on the other hand, uh, the uh, many people think that uh, the role of the government in development of the market is not enough and what the market wants from the government. Based on the uh, study that we did, first of all, is uh, improvement of the uh, venture market law, preferences and tax benefits for uh, entrepreneurs and investors and fund funds model to uh, capitalize what the government doesn't want, first and second, what the private market doesn't want from the state. This is direct investment in the project on all the stages. This trend is indicated several times, and uh, through our venture barometer, market goes to uh, the government says, don't invest in the project directly. So far, the government doesn't really hear us, but we keep talking about it. So this is it, and I would like to make a comment outside of my plan, the, the change of the market structure. In fact, uh, there is no, nobody talking about a, a risk decrease. I'm not saying that the number of deals is uh, less and the number of investment is less. It looks like the, the uh, average uh, ticket is less. In fact, it's not so. The structure of investment in portfolio is not changed because uh, the companies really deployed the activities. Uh, so the change of the average ticket in the market is because the key participants of the market changed its agenda in the market. Thank you very much. Alexei. It's clear that the future of the industry will be determined mostly of uh, uh, development of the sector of uh, seed stage and those beautiful uh, trees that our colleagues drew from Price Waterhouse Cooper, this money tree. Could you give the floor to uh, uh, the uh, deputy director of the Fund of Innovation Support uh, talking about how the trunks of those trees of this of this uh, money trees will be development so i don't have a separate presentation if you want you can put the the slide with two trees from alexander's presentation and i would like to comment on the tree there is a trunk uh, there are branches of the tree and uh, the trunk consists of the grant support of ours and skolko fund and and the uh, venture tapestry is uh, canopy is is quite uh, c quite poor, and it can be explained quite easily. Uh, so we uh, work with uh, public money. So j the government us gives us money, and we distribute the money uh, among the private sector. And as we know, the demand was always o more than supply, and with four billions uh, we got from the anti-crisis uh, fund, and we got. The 
we had our four billion of our own money and five billion from from the crisis fund and so in total we had nine uh, billions so so in this time we get the, the less money and now it's 600 six excuse me six billion uh, rubles and uh, based on us you can see what happened in the market on those trees uh, Ekaterina Shapochka was saying that it is important to support startups this is the initial stage the seed stage and despite all the changes in the budget our plan that about 1500 startups will have to be created every year so this works everything that is on top this is buffered by its, uh, more matured startups so when we try trying to keep the bar with those matured startups and Alexei Solovyov said that uh, governments call not to invest uh, the, the call to the government not to invest directly in startups because we have grants not investments but in any case uh, we're trying to do our best we looked at the quality uh, of the companies and our grant support uh, goes uh, to different sectors not to the sectors where the venture investment goes if 90 percent of uh, uh, venture support goes to IT for us it's about 25 percent so if we're talking about the cloud technology that are on the front so we uh, supported the cloud technologies five years ago today we have different priorities it's a national technological initiative that Alexander Pavalka was talking about in his welcoming remark and I hope that we will be able to invest in that next two three years when we have things to invest to thank you Pavel and uh, with pleasure I would like to give the floor uh, to Vitaly Palekin who is uh, uh, the head of uh, the business angels movement there are very interesting trends in that area so could you tell us a little bit about it so uh, russian national association of business angels together with rvc uh, we did a big uh, research and over the last few years it was in great demand And we think that our study was uh, quite interesting. We uh, surveyed major business angels, and all together, there are about 300 business angels all over Russia. And we uh, worked in the office, in the field, and uh, in this case, uh, we will produce a book on business angels and I think ma many people will be interested in that book and just within this five minutes I would like to touch on several things and tomorrow on 20 uh, we'll have the presentation of the uh, uh, report we produce so that's why I invite you so you can talk to me or Dmitry Falalev in general the market uh, angel investment market is one of the most closed ones and uh, the most difficult one uh, in terms of doing a research why we uh, we managed to do it quite closely and uh, quite thoroughly because we have access to many players of this market and the key uh, communities of business angels in Russia in this case as part of this study there is a base where you can see all the public transactions uh, pure angel transactions we uh, didn't uh, consider a seed fund uh, transactions as uh, our colleagues actually counted on uh, in this case is 92 uh, versus 68 in 2015 this is 46 transactions uh, precede stage it's uh, th 13 13 uh, transactions gro growth uh, is uh, actually quite a significant growth and the thing is that 53 uh, the transactions were syndicated and only 39 uh, were done without uh, co-investing it's quite important trend in general I have to say that business angel market is very important to take it into account because if you want to manage something you cannot do it
properly if you cannot change it. So, and we want to uh, manage the market of business angels because in each successful company, in each company that ever got investment from venture fund, they always had a business angel that actually managed to see something in that company that was not seen by others based on the numbers that the company produced. And finally, it, the company became a successful company that either attracted uh, new investment or was acquired by a corporation. In 2016, we found uh, eight exits versus six in 2015. And the trends that we see, this is growth in deals by 30% comparing with 2015. And mainly it was ensured by the growth of the number of deals by newcomers. The leading association of business angels, uh, 300 of them are in the association. Of course, these associations do its business. It's either to uh, license the activity of the club or to develop the system, ecosystem. But in attracting uh, new participants, they develop the business angel market uh, with a number of deals and with a number of participants. And also, the uh, big businessmen quite actively operate in the market. They invest big amounts in big in, in companies, uh, not only at the pre-seed or seed stage, but quite often on the later stages. And there are uh, money of uh, quite famous IT entrepreneurs. And it would be great to invite you tomorrow for a more detailed presentation of this report to participate in the discussion where we will be able to have more time to discuss all nuances and details of this interesting report. Thank you very much, Vitaly. I have to say that the time is running out. And uh, despite the fact that it's cyclical, but uh, we move forward, I would like to give the floor to uh, Vladimir Khvaleev, president of the Russian Arbitra uh, Commercial Court Association. And uh, to say a couple of words about what the mechanism of uh, dispute resolution in the venture market. I'm not uh, really from your area, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm an attorney, and most of you are economists. But as I see that the number of exits is much less than the number of entries, which is an indicator that either that the majority of investment is not enough uh, uh, successful or B, investors are waiting when the investment will get to a certain level when something can be done to it. And when you get to the stage when you are ready to exit, then I suppose you may have quite a number of disputes and quite serious disputes because uh, when you don't have money, there are no disputes because nothing to share. But when you have the money, then obviously you have the disputes. And as they say, you can't really uh, share the skin of unkilled bear, but you have, but actually you, you need to share the skin uh, before you catch the bear because it's very difficult to share it when, when you finally caught it. So there can be a number of disputes, and you need to take into account that the state courts, without knowing uh, the specificity of venture market, they are not intended to consider such kind of disputes. That's why last year, together with uh, RVC, uh, we uh, signed, uh, signed an agreement uh, of creating an arbitration court, and this arbitration court is established uh, together. We uh, came up with a regulation for arbitration court uh, at the registration desk. You can get the regulation for the arbitration court. But what I would like to draw your attention to, this arbitration court for a venture dispute that will be able to work with you and probably with the resource of those uh, consultants uh, from your industry. It doesn't work automatically uh, versus the uh, state court. You can only go to the arbitration court when you have an agreement on that. 
Therefore, when today, when you work on different schemes of financing or investing, today in your deals you need to include uh, the arbitration court based on uh, uh, clause uh, that is described in this uh, small brochure and, and if you have any questions on how it works uh, we are ready to come to you we're open for cooperation we can show you how efficient it is and how useful it is thank you very much Vladimir Maxim Volkov of the Vinci Capital uh, Managing Director no please could you give a small comment on the situation in the market. Uh, uh, go good morning, colleagues. I will give you a short comment. We support the uh, story uh, with the uh, ar arbitration court for a venture market. It's important to uh, say that specificity, specificity is important. Uh, uh, the courts, they don't understand uh, how the project started and what the stage of the project and it's very important so those are mediators that uh, will be working on the dispute they should be from the industry from the area and why we supported this initiative because they plan to bring specialists from the industry from the venture industry and also I would suggest that from Ravi Association I would ask you to uh, look at the experience of the Moscow Exchange or uh, the Chamber of Industrialists and Entrepreneurs uh, when they were creating it. So, in, uh, from uh, from RVC forum, they were talking. So, there could be a potential partnership between you and promoting this initiative. Thank you very much, uh, Maxim. So, our time is up. I would like to thank all the participants.